Okay. Okay. Hey, my name is Gabby Smith, and do animals have personalities is a controversial topic we'll be discussing today. Uh, there's a rather large controversy on anthropomorphism, and to bind that for all of you, that is the attribution of human characteristics to um, or behavior to a god, object, or animal. People believe that animals don't have personalities because it's sinful, thus it must not be true. Unlike other topics, I believe this is more of an opinionated controversy, and the answer to do animals have personalities is um, will vary from person to person. It is important for uh, to understand when owning an animal. So if a person or a family wants to adopt an animal or a dog, the breed could or would be different than if just a couple wanted to adopt a dog. So this is why it's important for psychologists to understand the personalities of different animals. And after being an animal owner my entire life, I do believe that animals have personalities or at least acquire the same emotional characteristics and traits as humans. For those who believe that animals don't have personalities, uh, from, the tr uh, from the source, the pros and cons of anthropomorphism is important. Animal owners sometimes develop thoughts about their animals' moods, thoughts, and personalities. And this, is, um, this question is a, a positive or negative effect on the animals themselves. So even though anthropomorphism thinking develops relationships between humans and the um, animals themselves, caring for them beyond their basic needs may be contributing to the severity of welfare in the country, which I'm not really sure if that's really a valid answer. But um, From the other source, thinking about dogs as if they are people, as anthropomorphism a sin, a study was conducted in the 1940s, and when the scientist was trying to describe the actions of the animals, he could not do so without giving um, words that describe human emotions, but instead of calling it personality, he said that the dogs behave in the way that we think and feel. So on the other side, that when people say animals do have personality, from the source, the study proves that animals have different personalities. The purpose of this study was to obtain personality traits from 60, 60 different species. The scientists believe that there's an evolutionary basis between differences, affiliates, of the same species and animals tend to have stability over their lifetime. From the other source, pets really, do pets really have personalities? We talked about Ivan Pavlov in class and in the midst of his experiment, he noticed some dogs would salivate more than others, but this was because they wanted the food more and they uh, described these and noticed them to be personality traits. So in conclusion, I still believe animals have personalities and traits similar to humans. Research has shown that insects and primates display personality traits and emotions. And that's just a picture of my dog. And then those are my references.